Good morning. Hello, all the dear ones out there. How are you all? Warm welcome to a new academic year. Hope you all are safe. Have you ever imagined such a reopening day? You at your home and we the teachers in this spring. For the time being, we are going to have classes in this manner. So now, let's start a today's class. We are going to discuss the poem "The Highway Man," written by the famous poet Alfred Noyes. Alfred Noyes. Have you ever heard about him? Have you ever read any of his works? Come on. No. Don't worry. My friend Sharanya will introduce him to you. Good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the famous poet Alfred Noyes. Alfred Noyes was born on 16 September 1818 in Wolverhampton, United Kingdom. He was an English poet, short story writer, and also a playwright. His major works include *The Highway Man*, *The Last Man*, *The Victory Ball*, *Dick Turpin's Ride*, and *The Heart of Canada*, etc. Noyes's majority works is deeply romantic in style. *The Highway Man*, one of his most popular work, published in 1906 in a literary magazine with wide circulation. and the poem was completed within 2 days the highway man is a romantic ballad the poem celebrates the true love of its central characters the bus and the highway man the theme of the poem is love courage and sacrifice alfred noyes passed away on 25th june 1958 that's all about the poet now all my dear ones Are you all familiar with the poet and his famous works? Let's go through the poem, and for that, say the Lakshmi will help you. Thank you, Sri Parvati. I hope you all have understood about the poet Alfred Noyes, his major works, his writing styles, etc. Now, I'm here to give you all a rough idea about the poem, the Highwayman. So, do you know who a highwayman is? The highwayman is a robber who stole from the travelers, and this poem, the highwayman, is a romantic ballad written by Alfred Noyes and published in the year 1906. The poem is set in the 18th century rural England, and by the 18th century rural England, we all know that England rose to the world's dominant colonial power. And this poem, the highwayman, tells the story of a highwayman who falls in love with a lady named Bess, a landlord's daughter. The poem opens on a winter night with the highwayman riding into the town. He is dressed so finely and rides so confidently into the city in the moonlight. He taps. on all the shutters but none of them opens until one window open when he sees bess the landlord's dog the highwayman and bess are in love and he asks her to wait for him in return he after a price and assures bess that he will come back soon bess agrees to this and lets down her long hair for him to kiss in the dark tim a man employed to look after the horses sees them and after the highwayman leaves tim goes off to betray him in the second part bess is waiting for him to return but he does not come back in the morning or afternoon by evening the king's men rides into the town and captures bess they tie her up and use her as a bait as a joke they rope a musket to her and ask her to keep a watch laughing as they go down stairs she is unable to get free no matter how hard she tries she can just move her fingers so that she can pull the trigger she waits 
for the highway man, but in the distance she hears the sound of the horses. She does not know if the men have heard it yet. She listens and then she takes a very crucial decision. Do you know what was the crucial decision? She pulls the trigger and shoots herself in the heart so that the sound of the gunshot will warn him. The highwayman has heard it and takes off not knowing that Bess has sacrificed her life for him. He writes all night and the next morning he hears the news of his beloved sacrifice. In his anger, he writes back to the town where they shoot him and he, the highwayman, dies as well. The epilogue of the poem states that in the winter, when the wind is in the streets, you can still hear the highwayman rides into the town. He looks on each dose until he finds one of his love. He whistles his tune and the landlord's daughter will be waiting for him. This is all about the poem The Highwayman by the great poet Alfred Knox. Now, let me lead you to the animated version of this poem for your better understanding. Up to the old and 
They said no word to the landlord They drank his ale instead But they guide his daughter and bound her To the foot of a narrow bed Two of them nailed to the casement With muskets at the side There was death at every window Hell at one dark window For Bess could see through the casement The road he would ride They tied her up to attention With many a sniggering jest They had bound a musket beside her With a bow beneath the breast Now he could watch and they kissed her She heard the dead man say Look for me by the moonlight Watch for me by the moonlight I come to thee by the moonlight Who here should bar the way She twisted her hands behind her With all the knots he could But she writhed her hands till her fingers Were wet with sweat of blood They stretched and strained in the darkness And the hours crawled by like years To now when the stroke of midnight Called on the stroke of midnight The tip of her finger touched it The trigger at least was hers Horses whose ring clear Toddle on, toddle on in the distance Where they deaf they did not hear Down the ribbon of moonlight Over the brow of the hill The highwayman came riding Riding, riding The red coats looked to the priming She stood up straight and still Toddle on to the frosty signs Toddle lot in the echoing night Nearer came and nearer Her face was like a light Her eyes grew wide for a moment She drew in the last deep breath Then her finger moved in the moonlight Her mask had shot at the moonlight Shattered her breast in the moonlight And warmed him away the death He turned his spur to the west He did not know she stayed Bowed with her head of a musket Drenched with her own red blood Not till the dawn he heard it His face grew grey to heal A best the landlord's daughter The landlord's black-eyed daughter Had watched for her love in the moonlight And died in the darkness there And back he spurred like a madman Shrieking her curse to the sky With a white road smoking behind him And his Arabia brandished high Blood red with the spurs of the golden moon Wine red with his velvet coat When they shot him down on the highway Down like a dog on the highway And he lay in his blood on the highway With a bunch of lace in his throat Still on the winter's night they say Wind is in the trees When the moon is a ghostly galley Tossed upon the cloudy seas When the road is a ribbon of moonlight Over the purple moon A highway man comes riding Riding, riding A highway man comes riding Up to the olden door Now, you have seen an animated version of the famous band, The Highwayman by Alfred Knox. I hope you all have understood about the part, his major works, his writing styles, and finally, the detailed description of this song. That's all. Thank you.